measured, dude. There it is right there. Coming in, hit up. Welcome to the Redfish Bay Boat House in Aransas Pass, Texas. The second stop on the trail with Rudy's Redfish Pro Series. Sponsored by Hook Spit Rods. We're looking at the weather for the next two days here at Redfish Bay Boat House in Aransas Pass, Texas. Off the chain. It's beautiful right now. Just unbelievable weather we're going to have for the next two days. We've got Rudy's Barbecue tonight. We've got uh, shrimp skewers, kebabs tomorrow for the boys. 33 of the best teams out there fishing for some big money. Wade? It's going to be amazing. I think the, uh, the guys have really been hunting after them. I know there's been some guys down here for two weeks. They've been on fish. They've been running all over the bays, killing them. Uh, hoping to see some big weights out here. I think we should see a lot of good... Uh, we will see some big weights, you guys. Yeah. Um, all my teams, be blessed tomorrow. I'll be right here for any questions. Again, if any boards are needed, Cold Star's got some stacked up here with sliders. I'll be here answering any questions. Y'all can get it on, guys. Uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. We will have boat checkers at Con Brown Harbor. I will be here for National Anthem and Prayer with Mr. Simmons. 33 teams are registered for this two-day event. Up for grabs is a total purse of more than $70,000. Here's the 2016 schedule for Rudy's Redfish Series presented by Hook Spit Rods. For more detailed information, visit redfishseries.com. We're here for day one with On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series here at Redfish Bay Boathouse, Redfish Willie's Restaurant. All the anglers are getting ready, getting inspected, checking their life jackets, checking their live wells, making sure their nav lights work. Beautiful day today, a uh, little bit of wind, but not much, enough to give them a little bit of breeze. No clouds in the sky, it's just gonna be a beautiful day. Can't wait to see what kind of weights come to the scale this afternoon. I've been talking to the teams and stuff. I mean, I, I still think that there's probably gonna be some 16 pound stringers coming in. These guys, they always give you a, a bunch of fault, you know, talk and everything, and at the end of the day, they come in and they tear it up, so we'll see. When Knucklehead here has the uh, remote, and he starts pushing the buttons, and we're going down the highway, and all of a sudden, you don't have any power pole left. <laughs> look, we're not a team unless we break something before the tournament, okay? Look at that power pole. You see that? That makes us a team right there, I promise you. Been on there checking boats. Uh, everything looks good. We're getting ready to launch these boys. Day one, on, Aransas Pass, on the trail with Rudy's Redfish Series. Some of the teams are making long runs south, but Clint Anderson and Keith Sullivan are staying close, and that is where we'll begin tournament coverage. Well, there's like a little, right in here, it gets a little deeper, and they've been kind of staying right there. And moving all through this fat between these two islands. We just kind of want to get in there and not spook them, and just blind cast until we can't cast anymore. Good performance rods. Double D lure. Uh, we got a small one just to reach and fill the bait well up. Get it started. A little confidence getter for us. 45 miles away, we find Brett Juarez and Cole Starr fishing the grassy sand flats. They're throwing top water and spoons, waiting for the sun to rise so they can sight fish. We're gonna need to definitely get rid of this one before the day's over. No spots on this side, dude. You don't see that that often. It's just a grind down here, man. Like in like Louisiana and back home. And of course, when this stuff is good, I mean, it's nonstop action. Like when we get to Galveston, if the fish are acting right, I mean, we'll catch them one right after. Boom, 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 boom. It's just more of a grind here, man. You just kind of got to poke along. Coming up, we'll have more coverage of day one of the Rudy's Redfish Pro Series. This episode of the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is brought to you by Haney Boats, Mercury, Chris Marine, Coastline Trailers. Let's go check on Thomas Barlow and Cody Emery as they fish the shoreline. 
He ain't that big. Come at the boat. The boat. Flip him out of the water. The star. A bad marine jig head does it again. Small fish though. We're looking for a little bit bigger than that. About 21. 21, about four and a half. All right. We're sitting up here in a couple little coves we've got picked out. Looking for a little bit of bait. Gonna see if we can't find some redfish up in this shallow water. Gonna throw some soft plastics at them and uh, see if we can't get a few big ones to bite this morning first thing. Take a little pressure off our shoulders. Oh, not huge, but a fish. Gotta start somewhere. Feels a lot better than anything else I've caught today. All right. Awesome. Oh yeah. He's all right. Good starter fish. Right at six pounds. That's a pretty fat little fish. If he's a couple inches bigger, he'd be really good. The sun's coming out and it's about time to go start looking. Um, we were hoping to have two in the box before we leave here. But we got one, we'll go to some bigger fish and start doing a little sight cast. It's the plan. I'm sure everybody's already there on that score, but we'll go get in there and get them. Another smaller fish, but we got two in the box now. Yeah. Copper spoon, double D lures, 13 fishing reels, looks a bit raw. A little on the skintless side, dog. A little bit. Good job, dude. Shit, dude, that fish is seven pounds. What? God, you don't look that good. I'll take it. Yeah, no doubt. God. <laughs> so skinny, dude. 20, 26 and a half and seven pounds. Hey, I ain't gonna b so. Is it feeling pretty heavy? Is it a keeper? and the day later and I wanted to start trying to upgrade. It was a rough day today. We struggled. Uh, a lot of small fish, uh, had big fish, opportunities of big fish, and kind of we just didn't make it happen. Uh, the tide died on us opposed to yesterday. It was ripping yesterday. Uh, today, not the case, it was dead. And uh, bite died off. We had a lot of floating fish, it just wouldn't eat. So got about 10 and a half, 11 pounds, which is pretty sorry. You know, take 16, 17 pounds of place. We normally struggle here at the house for some reason. This is our home waters. And for some reason, we have a, a ghost in our pocket here. Uh, today, a little different story. We got what we think we need, at least for day one. Uh, real, real respectable weight we got sitting in there. Got off of our fish early, left them alone so we can get on them day two. Looking at the leaderboard, Glenn Winningham and Joshua Gregory brought two fish weighing in at 16.63 pounds. In second was Max Stinnett and Chris Evans with 16 pounds and Bobby Gilbert and Luke Landry as 15.06, good enough for third.
Give a big round of applause, 1663. Coming up, we'll get back on the water for more coverage of the Rudy's Pro Series presented by Hook Spit Rods. But Rudy's has been a big deal for us. We love the events. It's always kind of a hope felt event. Every event you fish is, everybody knows everybody, and it's just great camaraderie. Rudy's Redfish Series is a family friendly event. Find out how you can be a part of the action. Get online at rudysredfishseries.com. Back to series coverage. This episode of On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is brought to you by K and J Marine, Heat Guard, Ace Healthcare. Here on day two with the Rudy's Redfish Series on the Trail. Uh, here in Aranjas Pass, Aranjas Bay Boathouse. A little bit of rain starting this morning, but we're good. It's going to break up and pass. We're fixing to release these boats, get them on. Let's see who takes his big check today, guys. Weather is always a factor when it comes to outdoor sports, and with storms in the area today, it's no different. Today's going to be a little bit different. A lot different weather today. It's going to be a little bit of rain, a lot of wind. We get down there. Hopefully, we get a little sun today. If not, uh, we'll, we'll work on our sight fishing game. We got about 20 minutes before sunrise. We're fixing to start their motors, let them mount up, and go get us some fish and bring us in some weight. See you at the weigh in. <laughs> We will start final day coverage with Chad Petterick and Jamie Pinter. After making a 45 minute run, it didn't take them long to get back on the fish. Well, what we got is big flat right here. A lot of grass scattered out, a little bit of pothole, and there's a little trough with some sand on it in front of us. We're covering water and we got some wind today, which is gonna help. And hopefully go catch us two, because the, as the day progressed yesterday, our bites got better and they got bigger but we fought a little bit of calm weather yesterday morning too, so we've got wind, so hopefully we can knock something out here pretty early. Looks like a decent one. Try to get him on the first pass here. Straight at you. Six. He's only four nine, Jamie. That's it. Yeah, four nine. Oh, they look kind of skinny. We'll be getting rid of that one, hopefully. This is a brand new line. I'm gonna peel off about ten feet of it. Just seems like sometimes with when it's a windy day and running into the uh, running into the uh, winds, you can kind of fray this line a little bit. So I just want to get line that, that was on the spool so that I can uh, make sure that, you know, make sure that we're getting a good uh, good bite or a good, uh, good quality line. Got him. Poles are coming down. Oh, I got him. I need him. Four pounder. Little, he might not even measure, but we're gonna throw him in there. We might need him. All right, we made it safe to our, our fishing area. It probably took us about 10 minutes longer, but um, but we made it here in one piece. About one foot chopped the whole way. Uh, had a little rain about half the ride, and once the rain quit, it wasn't bad. So, um, everybody in Texas fishes crystal clear water, sand, Grass flats. Well, I'm from Louisiana. I like brown water, and we found it. So let's go kick some butt. Good fish. All right. All right. He's about six pounds. He's a little over six and a, a little over six and a quarter. Well, we just uh, pulled up to our first spot. This is look right. Everything feels right. 
It's just a matter of petting him down, holding his ears back. I'm going to get to work here, do a little deed dubbing. Two redfish coming right at us. There we go, there's a whole school of them. That was a school, dude. He's 26, I imagine he's about six pounds. Kind of skinny. I ain't even gonna bug him right now. He's going in the water, baby. Finally got one on. Not the size we want, but it's a start. Coming up, we'll have more coverage of the Rudy's Redfish Pro Series. On the Trail with Rudy's Redfish Series is also brought to you by Kinsey Jewelry, Budweiser, and Choctaw Lease Service. Welcome back to Aransas Pass, Texas, the host city for the Rudy's Redfish Pro Series. And now we'll check back with the second place team, Matt Stennett and Chris Evans. A lot tougher, tougher conditions right now than we had yesterday. The water's a lot dirtier. We just came across a little school and managed to get one out of them and get a couple more cast into them and just never could. They're acting funny. They don't, they don't really want to eat right now. We're working on it. The rest of them go. Where the rest of them go? That's more better. Yep, about that, 26. But he's chunky. Yeah. Not what we want, but it's a good start. A late start, but it's a good start. At least we got two, and that's all we can ask for. Power pole, dude. That's, that's him, dude. Oh, just don't be too big. Come on, baby. That's the one we want. Weird hook set. Weird on the hook. Get him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Seven one. You got him out? You got him out? That is a fat seven and a quarter. Trying to keep the boat going straight. It's easier right now. We're having to use the trolling motor to keep it going straight the whole time. So we're trying to put some socks out, try to get it just going straight down where we don't have to use the trolling motor. Good one. He's coming down. He's, he's not that bad. Oh my. Really? Get the, he's got stud, dude. We tr I'll tell you. We try not to keep those fish out of the water too long at all. So we, we leave them in the net, take it out, and we put them right in the live well because we don't want them getting on the deck. It, you know, the deck gets hot. And you just you put them straight from that water straight into this water, and it, it helps them live a lot better. Yeah, we kind of have a little dilemma now. We've we've got some uh, we've got some pretty heavy storms back uh, to the north of us, up up around Port Aransas and Bathin area. Uh, we don't have any cell phone service down here, of course, so we can't really tell. But uh, just to be safe, I think we're going to head on back. Time is almost up for the team, so now it's time to get back to the Redfish Boat Bay House for weigh-in. Charlie. CB, Charlie Barton, I need you. I've had him on my stage before when his boy did well. His boy is fishing for him. First place taking home $40,000. Cody Barton and Brad Sawyer with $28.75. And there you have it. Brad Sawyer and Cody Barton brought in two fish totaling 15.34 pounds. 
catapulting them to the win for more than $40,000. In second place, we have Matt Stennett and Chris Evans taking home over $10,000. Anybody that's interested in getting involved with this Rudy's Pro Series, you can come board. I'll talk to you on the phone, tell you what it's all about, get you involved, get your deposit money in because this is not an open event. Once we lock our field in for the year, it stays locked in. They follow us to all four events. We're doing some changes next year, making it even better. So come get involved with us. Look me up at www.redfishseries.com. See you on the other side. Join us next month when we go to Hitchcock, Texas for the third stop of Rudy's Redfish Pro Series, sponsored by Hook Spit Rods, where over 33 teams of the best redfish anglers take to the water for their shot at over $70,000 in cash and prizes. We would also like to thank our sponsors for making this show possible. 